Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my next video. Today, we're meeting Julia, uh, and we're, she's going to take us on a tour that she shot of her video. Welcome, Julia. I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much, Bob. Glad to be here. And uh, tell us a little bit about your channel before we jump right into the tour. I do create upcycled clothing and crochet hats as part of my income. So I drive around, live in my van, and then rent places to uh, do that work. Very good. Be sure and uh, go in and subscribe to her channel. That will be a really, really good thing. So now let's jump right in, and Julia is going to show us how she lives in her van. Hi, everyone. My name is Julia, and this is my van tour. This is my dog, Bambi. And this is our 2500 Dodge Van 1996. I've had it for about a year and a half now, and I really love it. Um, if you can get one of these passenger vans that are already insulated, have ceiling lights, uh, beautiful shades, opening windows, uh, it's wonderful. I really suggest this type of van. And I did want something that was pretty um, simple and stealthy on the outside. Before we go in, I'll show you that I point out that I have a screen door there that I can place over this open door or I can open both barn doors of course and then on the door there you can see my dog shower which serves as just a general cleaning area and I can place that anywhere on the outside of the van clean my dog with it you know rinse off after going into the ocean so welcome to my home this is uh my van show you the general layout first before I go into the details I am a crafter of upcycled clothing and crochet hats, so my van includes everything I own plus my entire business. So first I'll take you to the front. Standard van front, but I wanted to point out that I do not have power in this van. So I do have a little inverter that I can use in my cigarette lighter to charge my devices or run my little blender. And I also have a little vacuum that I can run on that as well. Uh, over here, I have my dog's main bed, which is lifted up and filled out with hand, um, with my sewing fabrics in bags and just contained very well under there. And it just builds up the whole bed for my dog, which is wonderful. Oh, well, here I have some pepper spray on my window dash there. That's a good idea for you females out there, for anyone, really. Up here, we have a video player, which is broken. And then it caught. I can't get my bar to go further forward that is um something i need to do but you can see here i have my curtain that i can close at night um i don't have any window insulation other than putting curtains up at night and as you can see on this curtain here this is actually four layers covering my window and it's just being held up by the original um shade holder there so that provides a lot of warmth as well as my quilts. <laughs> and then back here, and I like to keep it hidden, is my sleeping bag. So I just pull that out every night. And I have a nice little light here on a hook. And then the main thing about my van, basically, is I don't have a build-out. So what I have in here is a metal bed. So I've taken the original bed couch out of this van and I put in a metal ba bed. And this is really the only place it could go because of the wheel wells in the back. But it suits my purpose pretty well and allows me to store all kinds of things under the bed, including my butane stove, which I use to cook on in all of my pots and pans. Um, I do use piddle pails. There's one of them there. And, but that just provides a lot of storage. Um, you'll, I have eight gallons of water throughout my van just stored. There's about four or five gallons just behind that seat there. So coming to the back of my van, uh, Behind those pillows, I keep my dirty clothes basket or um, bag. And then I guess the main thing back here are my dressers. So that big brown one is my main dresser for all of my clothes. And it's, it's so wonderful to have that. Um, it just makes life so easy. Before I had things in containers and I would have to move the containers. And then back to the right is essentially my business. So that's made up of handmade clothing that I've made waiting to sell and ship out um, as well as baskets of yarns and I have this big felt container there which is really a great um, container for for the van and then you see I have this little three drawer dresser there also holding probably more yarn 
On top, I have my basket that I use to crochet. And this stuff is uh, bungee corded in, but it basically doesn't fall. Um, I have these sticky non or stick pads there that help everything stay in place. So up here, I have this beautiful rack thing that holds a bunch of things on the side of my van, which is great. So I have a big tub for washing things. And then you can see I have a bamboo pole on there too with my paper towels and my black hat. And then back here, um, I have our water, uh, water thing for walks. And then this is my pooper. So I just have a tiny kid's bucket with a very soft edge and I use plastic bags and I take it out, you know, like as soon as possible. And I don't believe in having a large bucket um, in the van unless you need it. If you can squat, you can get by on a little bucket like that. Um, and it's much better, I think. Uh, back here, I have a vintage suitcase, which holds all of those miscellaneous things that you're not getting to on a regular basis. And then uh, my shoes can go on there too. In the back right corner, I have my dog food and then I have more yarn and my sewing machine is hiding back there. I also have a sewing table behind those containers. So whenever I need to rent somewhere or I'm staying somewhere uh, where I can sew and run my business, I can just pull that stuff out there. So here on the left, um, I have this handy hook so I can hold my purses there. Back here, I have containers of pre-cut patches for my patchwork business and my skateboard for getting around. And then I have a Mr. Buddy here for heating up the van whenever it gets too cold. So over here, you can see I have the same curtain methods, um, providing multiple layers on my windows. And then these old passenger vans also have these beautiful shades. And then windows that open, oh, it's open, with screening. I mean, this is awesome no other type of van has that it's really great um so the wheel well what are you going to do with it i just put stuff up against there and i do have rugs in my van a lot of people suggest that you don't do that but i think it would be really cold in here without them and so i regularly have to air everything out and make sure it's cool um and then that's my dog's bed now over here, I want to show you sort of my food kitchen area. I have a set of drawers with a bunch of food in there. And I like to keep a bunch of food. You never know when you're going to end up camping out somewhere for multiple days. Um, and on that note, I do have eight gallons of water that I carry at all times in my van. Um, these containers over here also hold food. I have a cute little basket that can hold food. And then I have this leopard container, which is really quite large and holds a lot. And then I don't have any kind of um, electric cooler. I just have this tiny little cooler that I've had for like 25 years. And it holds whatever I need. Um, I can put ice in it. Uh, up here, I just have a towel on this little rack from the dollar store. And then the obligatory spray bottles of vinegar and water. And then just water, which I use all the time to clean my hands or, you know, wipe down dishes with the vinegar water. Yeah. And then behind there, I have a basket full of, you know, my Dr. Bronner's natural soap, um, extra cups, windshield wiper, and then I have a trash bag right back there. I just use little dog bags and take it out as often as possible. Well, right here, you can see my dog bowl. And one of the smartest things you can do if you have a dog in a van is just put the water in a container you can put a lid on because then every time you travel you just put the lid back on and you don't have to dump out the water and then you just open it up again for your dog when you arrive wherever you're staying still and that way you don't have to keep refilling it and wasting water you can see i have this um rubber pad here at the door which does a good job of keeping things out of the van but it's also where i set my stove and just japanese style get on my knees and just cook right there um, any kind of spill I have or if there's an emergency um, with the, you know, fire or emergency situation with the stove, I have the door right there ready to go and the window open. And that's how I cook in my van. You're probably wondering how do I keep clean in a van. And sometimes I do have a gym membership. But right now I have a bowl. <laughs> so I grab this bowl. I boil some water in the morning after my coffee. I get a clean rag. I use Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap, which is natural for the environment. And I just put a little in there, put that 
hot water in there and get my rag and it's the best shower I've ever had. I love doing it this way. It is much preferable uh, to a gym. I clean every single morning and it's, it's like a nurturing session just cleaning with that. All right, I think that's about it. I want to thank you for watching my van tour. Um, I guess if you have any questions, just put them down below and Bob can answer them for me. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching my van tour. I hope you enjoyed it, got some ideas out of it. And you can see here, you can have a very comfortable, um, a nice little home just in a van, even without a build. All right, everyone, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, Julia, thank you so much for sharing your home and, and taking give us the big tour of your van. And uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, folks, and, and be sure you go right now and subscribe to our channel. And uh, Julia, again, why don't you tell us just a little bit about your channel? It's a van life channel, and I do travel around and rent temporary places to do my sewing, uh, my upcycled clothing business. Um, and I also make crochet hats, so that's the crafter part of it. It's part of my income in van life. So I hope that you'll come to my channel. You'll find a lot of um, videos about van life, van life tips, van life philosophy, and of course, the handmade clothing and hats. And you can find those all set up in playlists so you can find what you want. And I hope that you'll all come to my channel and subscribe and enjoy the videos there. Very good. Very good. Go check all that out. Lots of uh, philosophy. And I think that's what I enjoy the most is uh, a lot of deeper thinking about why and how, not just how, but why. And, and that's so important yeah. and how you can be happier. That's a good thing, <laughs> being happy. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. You will find okay. that there. <laughs> you will find that there. And it's good, good stuff. I highly, highly uh, recommend it. Thank you. So, folks, if you got anything out of this video here on my channel, uh, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now. Uh, bye.